Uh, hey, hey everybody. Um, my name is Fernando. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna tell you how I lost my virginity. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys are not a, a faggio, cause really, who wants to be a faggio? Drop a like. Really do appreciate it. I mean, you wouldn't want to be this guy right here. Don't, don't be this guy. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But with that being said, let us, let us begin today's video. All right, so um, you guys read the title, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I'm gonna be telling you my first time at how I had sex, and I did make a video about this a couple of months ago, but if you guys remember, I didn't really go in depth on how I lost my virginity. I basically told how my friend lost it. So after some request, I'm finally gonna tell you my perspective of how I lost my V card with this chick. And oh boy, it's a very uh weird story. I don't want to go like really, really in detail. Like I shoved my veiny cock inside her her warm vagina. No, cause this 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 ain't Fifty Shades of Grey, right? I'm gonna tell you guy to guy, bro to bro, on how exactly it happened. And hopefully you guys will laugh at me and throw rocks and tomatoes at my face. But anyways, let's begin today's video. All right, so this all happened in middle school. I was a I was an eighth grader, you know. I, I have all my hormones raging. I just basically, honestly, I could, I could just fuck anything <laughs> because, you know, when you're in middle school, your hormones and are raging and you just basically want to fuck anything. I'm like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I remember I was like beating my little Johnson all the time when I was in my room with the door locked with a couple of lotions and Pornhub playing in the background. But anyways, I remember this one time this girl was very interested in me, but unfortunately she was like in the seventh grade and I was an eight. So I believe I was 13 and she was uh 12 or 11. I'm pretty sure she was 12. So anyways, yeah, she always wrote me like love notes and stuff. And she always got her friends to like talk to me saying, my friend always wanted to like hook up with you because she thinks you're cute. And I always thought like, honestly, it was just some joke. A lot of people just like to fuck around like that to start some dilemma. So I didn't really believe it until one day, you know, after lunch, I was just sitting in my table waiting for the teacher to come on by to pick us up. And then the same girl that always talks to me came with some new girl. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? I'm like, oh, hey, Jean. Um, yeah, this is my friend I was telling you about that likes you. And I was like, oh, my fucking God, are you serious? I thought I thought this was some fucking like prank or something. And she was like really shy. And then uh, we basically talked for a bit. And then her friend walked away because she didn't want to make it feel awkward. And then I wasn't really interested in her because I didn't really, you know, I wasn't really interested in going out with somebody who's one grade lower than me. And plus, I'm going to go to high school next year. So I don't really see this relationship going on. So I basically kept brushing her off. You know, she texted me sometimes and I didn't really answer her. And I always try to avoid her because she was kind of the clingy girl. I'm not going to lie to you guys. She was always like trying to talk to me. When me and my friends are around and then my friends would be laughing and joking around all the time, which I found really annoying. And, you know, she'll always be talking to me, inviting me over to her house to talk and to hang out and stuff. And all the time, my friends would be telling me, all right, so if you don't really care about this girl, just, you know, just fuck her and leave her. Just don't talk to her after you got what you wanted. Just leave her. And yeah, everyone's happy. And this would be happening every single time she approaches me. Like after she walks away, my friends would be like laughing, say, just fuck her and leave her. Oh, my God, dude, just do it. And then, you know, I always said no. And I know it's kind of messed up, but this one time. I was just really horny that day. <laughs> it was like on a Tuesday and I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. So after school, I walked her home and be like, you know, we should actually like hang out at your house. Like, oh, cool. My parents are at home because they're at work. So let's like watch a movie or something. I'm like, yeah, let's <laughs> let's watch a movie. <laughs> let's watch the movie. And this was way before Netflix and chill. So we watched uh whatever was playing in the TV. <laughs> so we were watching like Toy Story or something. And uh, yeah, we were just sitting in the couch in the living room. We were just uh, talking and stuff. And she was like, you know, playing with my arm or something. I don't know what the fuck she was doing. And then I just looked at her, stared right in her freaking soul, her eyes. And then she was getting really red and nervous. And then I just kept like, you know, looking at her. And then she just kissed me out of nowhere. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then we started making out. And then she got on top of me. And that shit went from zero to 100 real quick. I don't know. She just rushed things really, really too fast. So then uh, my hands were going everywhere. I was touching. I was squeezing. I was feeling on her body everywhere. She was doing the same, but not as much as me, though. 
because uh i'm trying to release all my uh stress onto her and that is exactly what i did boys i was like oh my god this is the best feeling in the world after i climax of course i pulled out i don't know if a lot of uh, jizz came out because i was like 13 so i guess like droplets <laughs> yeah so afterwards uh we finished up we talked for a few more minutes and uh her parents were gonna come home soon so i had to get the fuck out of there and we did it like about two or three more times and afterwards uh yeah i just got bored and tired and yeah i left and after a while she just kind of ignored me after I was being like kind of a dick to her. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a fucking asshole. I know it's really fucked up, but this is this is 13 year old Fernando, so he's way different than he is now. But that's basically my story, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We all learned that I'm a douchebag. But let me know your sex story. What do you guys do? How did it go down? I'm very interested. And I don't know, you probably had a better experience than I did. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But with that being said, I'm gonna talk to you motherfuckers later. One of the video. Peace!